everyone, it's Danny from Orchid Nature. So um, here I have some bad news related to my orchids. I told you that I do have some more orchids that look suspicious and I want to test them for a virus. So I got myself some more tests and I did some tests on the orchids that I thought could be problematic and uh, I discovered some new things so I want to share this with you. Now this orchid was purchased at a discount amazingly enough with the same batch that I purchased the other orchid that was virused with Yoncidium ring spot virus and um, since last year it, it grew but it didn't bloom. It started to produce two flower spikes but they just um, dried up for no reason and actually I am not really pleased with how this orchid behaves in the sense that when the new growth uh, matured, these are the new growths, they started to get all sorts of um, spots and weird rusty colors on the underside of the leaf. As you can see, this is the leaf that I cut for testing and uh, all this, the leaves are looking like this. And uh, yeah, I don't seem to find any leaf that is completely perfect and uh, green and nice. Uh, except for this new growth, but I'm sure it will start to develop those ugly spots while when it gets matured. So I will give you a close-up as best as I can with how the leaf looks like. I will again make some pictures and I'll post them on the Orchid Nature website so you have a better look. Uh, but yeah, I tested this orchid and ta-da! The result is positive for a virus, but this time it's the Cymbidia mosaic virus. And hopefully you can see on the test here, I have the control line. And just in the middle, just a very faint line of Oncidium ring spot virus as well. I'm not sure um, if this orchid has a small infection with the Oncidium ring spot virus, but it's definitely infected with the Cymbidia mosaic virus, as you can see. And uh, I just want to record this and show you guys how the streaking mosaic pattern whatever looks like um, you wouldn't really say it, you would say it's just a spotted oncidium, right? Um, well, no, it appears that these pots and the rusty color actually that starts to develop whenever um, a new leaf reaches maturity, a new growth reaches maturity is a sign of the Cymbidia mosaic virus here you can see a sort of a ring shaped spot this really looks like a um, on Cidium ring spot virus, maybe it has a, a small development on that as well that showed on the test strip. But in any case, this is how it looks like. It doesn't look pretty. It does look sort of mosaic, but again, viruses can look different in uh, orchids. This is a Cymbidium, sorry, an Oncidium, but um, this virus can look totally different on a Cymbidium or a Zygopetalum or any other orchid. This is just how it looks like on my orchid here and this is the reason why I wanted to test it. All the leaves look like this on the underside. Maybe if you look it from above, it doesn't look so ill, but it is and it's really not performing great. That's the main issue. I'm not sure if eventually it will die, but it's really not performing great. It's not blooming. It's not producing as many roots as I would like. Okay, let's look at another orchid. Okay, here we have another orchid that's tested positive for Oncidium ring spot virus. This is a shame. This is my Pupakea sunset Oncidium, you know, the one that had beautiful fragrant flowers that would, were pendant uh, with pink and yellow. I'm so sorry about this orchid, but it is infested with the Oncidium ring spot virus. Um, I'm not sure if you can totally see this in real life. It's really more um, obvious than this. It has this pink line. Not sure why my camera is not willing to show this properly. Anyway, it had, it does have a pink line in the middle. This is the Oncidium ring spot virus sign. And I just want to show you the leaf here and uh, the pattern. Do you see this? Do you see the black dot in the center surrounded by a sort of a diamond shape or rounded shape? Um, brownish color. This is a clear sign of Oncidium ring spot virus and uh, I hope you can see this and memorize this if you see something like this on your orchid. Test it right away. Other than that, this orchid um, it bloomed but it's really not performing great. I try to keep it super hydrated but still I have really odd looking new growths. Also the leaves have a lot of spotting on them and uh, they go yellow very quickly and uh, yeah overall I really don't like the way it's growing even though I keep it hydrated and so on 
it's just not performing well. Again, it's a sign of virus infection and um, all the spotting on the leaves. Look at this. Look at this leaf. Now all the spotting on, on the leaf, it's really ugly. It's a sign that your orchid might have a virus. The only way to know actually is by testing your orchids because I do have another orchid. I'll try to show a picture on the screen right now. It looks so weird. It looks like a virus, really. It has the rounded shape with the dot in the middle, but it's not a virus. Um, it's just a bacterial infection. But it definitely looks like a virus, or it just looks like, to, to me, it looks like a virus because I don't have too much experiences with viruses. But I tested it. It's negative. Yay! <laughs> it's the Encyclia from Schwerter, so I was a bit nervous about it, but it's... um. It's negative, that's a good sign. Unfortunately, these two orchids are positive for viruses, and um, I think I will throw, throw them away. I don't want to expose all my other collection to viruses, and that's that. I will continue um, testing my orchids. If I find anything else, I'll surely document it and um, try to take pictures and everything and show you on Orchid Nature. So, okay, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, the thing was, this virus, this Nvidia mosaic virus, was a new thing. This is how it looks like on the on the test strip. I showed you how the leaves look like. So um, pretty confusing to me at this point, but hopefully I can make a trained eye for uh, leaves. And when I see discounted orchids or orchids that are not performing great, and I look at the leaves, hopefully I'll be able to notice if um, they have a virus or just a, it's just a matter of poor care. In any case. If you see an orchid like this, stay away from it. You have no idea what it is until you test it. You really don't know. So, okay, thank you guys for watching this. I'll keep you updated. And uh, if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. Visit orchidnature.com for more information uh, from our whole community. And uh, yeah, if you have questions or suggestions, just leave me a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye.